Welcome back to Gundam HQ. Today, we're going to be discussing the possibility of alternate pilots returning to the series in Maxi Boost On. And before we start, I just want to make clear that this is all speculation, based on what I saw in the Maxi Boost On network test. But I'll get to that in more detail in just a little bit after I share some valuable background information. I'm also giving away two DLC codes for Gundam vs. 2017, one for the Zaydra and one for the H2, both of which will be given to one lucky winner. Check the link in the description to a site called Gleam to enter for your chance to win. And according to YouTube statistics, only 15% of the people who watch my videos are actually subscribed. If you regularly watch my content or end up enjoying this video, please consider subscribing. It's free and you can always change your mind later. Enjoy the video. For those of you who are unfamiliar with Gundam vs. 2017, this game introduced one of my all-time favorite features in any game of the series. Alternate Pilots. This allowed you to change the pilot of specific mobile suits, which was an amazing way to not only add an extra layer of customization to your gameplay, but also included characters that never would have had the chance to appear otherwise. Some great examples include all the Wing Boys and Miliardo being able to pilot the Wing Zero, and Amuro Ray and Opoly being able to pilot the Rick Diaz. Obviously, these are just a few examples, but you can see how great this feature is with it not only changing the character art, but it also changes the voice lines in combat, without changing any other properties of the mobile suit itself. The EXVS series, which runs parallel to Gundam vs doesn't have this feature so readily accessible. Instead, we have clone characters, which are separate copies of mobile suits with a different pilot. An example of which being the Zeta Gundam piloted by Camille Bidon at a 2.5k cost, and the Zeta piloted by Ru Luca at a 2k cost, both of which are locked with that specific pilot and not interchangeable in any way. That doesn't mean the EXVS series doesn't allow pilot customization in a different way and that way is character costumes. These really have no effect on anything besides being cosmetic, meaning they only change the art and don't change the voice lines unless there is a rare instance that I don't know about. You can change certain characters out of their pilot suit and into their military uniforms, or their casual clothes, etc. It really just depends on the character. But that leads to my question about one mysterious detail in the Maxi Boost On beta. You may have seen my video showcasing all the navigators, all the emblems, and all the HUDs for the game, depending on when this video comes out, of course. Every option is clearly visible, and the ones they don't want you to have access to yet are locked, and aren't able to be unlocked until the game's full release. But they are all still visible. Looking at the emblems, only one of them is actually unlocked, but they still let us see every single other one. So that leads us to question, why can't we do the same thing with pilot costumes? The pilot page is grayed out and inaccessible. They won't even let you look at the options like every other page does, with a very similar example being the navigator page, which lets you view every character costume, but just doesn't let you swap to it. I can think of four possible reasons why they would hide the page's content from us. Number one, the most boring option, but still realistic. They simply felt they didn't need to have the page visible for the network test, if nobody was going to be able to change their costumes anyways. Number two, the page is already finished, but it would have shown the final hidden bonus character that we're still waiting to see announced. So they just don't want you to see the page yet, and they didn't feel like editing that character out and releasing it that way. Number three, they're hiding new alternate costumes that haven't been seen before in either the arcades or the previous EXVS games. Or number four, alternate pilots are returning, but they're waiting to announce that closer to launch or on a special occasion of some kind. If you think about it, it isn't unbelievable that alternate pilots could return. We've seen time and time again that the team behind these games has no real issue porting around various assets, whether that be full-fledged characters or small portions of them. And that's just it. For Gundam vs, they went out of their way to create all these assets, make the art, record all the voice lines, and now they exist. Of course, that's not to say it's necessarily super easy to add them back to the game, I don't know their process with things like that, but that being said, half of the work is already done. Maxi Boost On's job now is to encourage people to buy the game. And what better way to encourage people to buy the game than by giving them more characters and options? 
Remember, at the end of the day, this is all just speculation, and none of this has been confirmed. It's just my interpretation on something strange that I noticed while playing the network test. Just remember, we're still missing one character, so they're not done announcing stuff yet. So, who knows? So what do you think? Am I reading too much into one grayed out word, or is there something credible to what I've been saying? Let me know down in the comments below. And don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to the channel for more Gundam related content. And consider supporting me on Patreon to get listed at the end of all of my videos. As always, thank you so much for watching, and this is Gundam HQ, signing off.